What's the deal, y'all? Now, today, I'm going to be talking about the different markets when it comes to overseas basketball. And just going to be giving y'all some general information about each market and some things that you should know, some things that I wish I would have known and things that's good for you to know before deciding which market to start your career in. And if you have a choice, obviously. Uh, I've been blessed enough to play in three out of the four markets that there are, that there is. And I think I can give y'all a pretty good rundown on each one. So that's what I'm going to do is talk about the differences in between them, the lifestyle, the style of play, the amount of money you can make, things like that. So like I said, there are four different markets when it comes to overseas basketball. And the first one we're going to talk about is Europe. Um, let me talk. Let me tell you what they are first. It's Europe, Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East. All right. So the first one we're going to talk about is Europe. Just because everybody thinks that's like the only place you can play in to be to have a successful career, which is not true at all. Europe is obviously made up of all the countries in Europe. Basically, if I'm not mistaken, all of them have a basketball league, at least one. Many of them have two, three, some even four different leagues in just one country. So basketball is really big here. It's not a shortage on uh, <laughs> players or not a short shortage of jobs. I don't think people say it is, but there's so many leagues over here, whether it's the bottom, starting from the bottom or, you know what I mean, high level, man, it's a lot of jobs, a lot of openings. So don't let people tell you all oh, it's not it's not enough not enough spots for players. No, bro. If you can hoop, bro, you can you can have opportunities somewhere. Um, Europe have the best basketball. When I say best, I'm not saying guys are the most talented. They can hoop, obviously, but best meaning they play basketball the right way. You feel me? Slow down, less dribbles, more passes, defense. Uh, you got to know how to play screen and roll when you out here. You got to Really study the game and watch a lot of film because if you don't, you will not last out here. You have to learn the game. This is the hardest place to play in the world. I'm going to say that. You can even, even listen to some NBA players say that playing against these European uh, teams or these Euro European national teams with these rules over here is very hard to play, very hard to score. So you have to use your mind a lot. You know what I mean? These dudes are tough. They take pride on defense which is not the case in a lot of places in the world, <laughs> especially back in America, bro. We don't take pride on defense like we should. They they really lock in on both ends, man. And they, they know the game, man. These dudes are, are very smart. They're not as talented, but they are smart. And they use, you know I mean? They use their head when it comes comes to basketball. Um, sorry. Uh, the amount of money you can make over here, it's a wide, wide range. Um, some dudes start in their career when they... Don't really have too many options. I've heard guys taking six, seven hundred dollars per month starting off, but they also you can also work your way up at a very consistent rate. And you can make up to, you know what I mean? There's not really a cap. I mean it is a cap, but four or five million some dudes are making um, per year. Ten month season. Um I'll say a good range is from six, seven thousand to, like I said, four million. But that's on the high end. But a lot of guys I know making good six figures, three, four hundred. Um, most teams are going to give you a car, going to give you an apartment. You get lucky. Some teams are going to give you meals per day. Um, it's very professional over here. Good training staffs. Um, the most serious basketball for sure. Next thing we're going to talk about, our next market we're going to talk about is Latin America. Spent a lot of my time in Latin America playing in Puerto Rico. Um, very relaxed basketball, chill, up, <laughs> the complete opposite from Europe, to be honest with you. Up and down, more like the G League NBA style. Dudes are more talented, I think, um, just because there's a lot of guys that play over there that's actually from America. Like, I'm considered a Puerto Rican, but I'm from Michigan. So it's a lot of guys like that. And so it's a lot of talented guys, a lot of guys that can get buckets, not a lot of defense. Mm -hmm. Shorter seasons, the, the, you can't really put, uh, I can't really give you all a good amount of, um, a good time when it comes to the different leagues over there, because they all are so different. Puerto Rico's like three months, Argentina's 10 months, 
Mexico's eight months. My boy's out in Chile right now. It's like six months. Brazil's like six, seven months. So it's hard to really talk about the length the season is. But again, just like Europe, man, you don't get a car, you don't get an apartment. Um, actually, you're gonna get an apartment. You're not for sure gonna get a car. It's 50-50, you know what I mean? Depending on where you at. Like Puerto Rico give cars, Mexico, I don't think give cars, Argentina give cars. So it's hit or miss over there. So yeah, you gotta just ask questions. And a lot of countries over there that you would never expect have basketball leagues like Panama, Chile, um, Brazil, and they actually can hoop a little bit, you feel me? So it's, it's a lot more leagues, man, a lot more countries in the world than, than you would think have basketball league. That's why I'm doing this video, man. Just so y'all know that there's opportunities out there, you feel me? And it's another thing, man, with, with well, Latin America, it's hard to really put a price range on it because the times or the length of the seasons are so much different. So I'm just going to give you all uh, on a low end that I heard guys making like four or five K up to like 30, 40,000. You can make some of these leagues per month. And like Argentina, you can get some, some good money. Puerto Rico, you can get some great money. Mexico, you can get some solid money. Uh, you can make some good money, man, in each, in each and every market. You feel me? Um, Europe is the only place or the only market I would say that there's not really a cap. Uh, but yeah, so that's Latin America. The lifestyle is obviously what you think it is, man. Great weather, you know what I mean? Islands, beautiful women, um, fun. You can kind have of a lot of fun in these in these Latin American countries. And we're gonna, next thing we're gonna go to, we're gonna talk about Middle East, where I spent a lot of my career as well. Middle East, um, you think about countries like Tunisia, Egypt, Morocco, Kuwait, Dubai, even though Dubai, Bahrain, these countries are in Asia, but in the basketball world, they're considered the Middle East just because they're Arabic speaking countries. I don't know why. Uh, Saudi Arabia, Iraq even have basketball. Yeah, bro, you can make some decent money over there too. Easy basketball, bro. The, the dudes from over there are not that good. So just the Americans, they bring in all the pressures on you. You got to make all the plays, you feel me? Obviously, some dudes that can hoop, but generally speaking, they aren't too good. Um, you don't have guaranteed contracts over there. Let me back up. Europe is probably the only place that give you guaranteed contracts. You feel me? So if you get cut or something happens, you get injured, you're going to get all your money. Or if you get cut, you can usually cut a deal with the team. They'll pay you like three extra months, two extra months. You leave and go find a, a new team. If you're in the Middle East, you're not playing well, man. Y'all losing, they will cut you quick. Same thing in, in Latin America. Most of the countries, they'll cut you quick. And <laughs> you, you got to you go home empty-handed other than the money you already made, you feel me? So you got to really be locked in over there. Yeah. Just know that that string that string isn't too long. You're on a short lease, you feel me? So just know that. Um, yeah, Middle East, not, not too good basketball. The lifestyle is a lot different. People are a lot different. Um, it's going to be a big adjustment coming from uh, America. A big culture shock, you feel me? Um, a lot of bad gyms, the courts are going to be slippery. A lot of different conditions, <laughs> you feel me? So it's good, man, though. I, I feel like for uh, for people to experience things like that, man, just to get away from where you're from and, and see the world and play basketball in places like that, man, it can really, really open your eyes up, you feel me? You can make some good money out there, too. Um, like Dubai, man, I heard guys making 60K per month, you feel me? Um, same with like Kuwait, Iran, but I'm going to say on an average, on a good range, normal is six, 7,000 per month to about 17, 17 per month, 20 per month. I'm going to say, yeah, seven to 20, you feel me? Egypt paying guys 20, 25,000 per month, man. Like an eight, nine month season too. And like I said, the basketball is easy. You're not gonna practice a lot. Um, you're not going to really kill yourself. Your body isn't gonna be messed up. Even though, even though you're gonna play a lot of minutes, you're not gonna be expected to press the ball full court like like Europe and all this other other um crazy stuff they be want you to do in Europe, man. So you you can really preserve your body planning outside of Europe and these other markets. Uh, so next thing we're gonna go to is Asia, the only country that are the only market that I haven't got the privilege to play in yet, which I am going to, I think. 
maybe. I got some uh, looks in Japan. So yeah, it's some the countries that you would think about when you think about the Asian market is China, Japan, Taiwan, South Korea, Korea, countries like that. And from the 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 things I've heard, I've always had a teammate play in Asia. They always played in Asia before, and they always brag about how perfect it is, how they wish they would have never left. And I always just hear good things about Asia from everybody. You feel me? It's usually a short season. You can make a lot, a lot of money. Um, way more like you start like starting off over there like 200k you feel me for the season five month season six month season and in China there's guys making two million so you can make a lot of money in a short amount of time um, basketball isn't too good um, you're gonna be asked to do a lot over there as well I don't think you get a car you get an apartment you're gonna have a translator with you a driver so you don't really need a car you know spend a lot of time in the in your apartment or I think they give dudes hotels actually most of the time and they yeah, I mean, gonna spend a lot of time to yourself because the food isn't too good you don't really want to go out like that another place of lifestyle is a lot different than what we're used to from what i've heard like i said i've never been out there and basketball is big out there uh, the fans are are live and gyms are really nice and um yeah asia is a good place to play and i i, I think i really want to get out there man just to experience that energy man and, and, and see that side of the world because i've never been over there i think it'd be fun you feel me so yeah man that's a good the best way i can describe each and every market um like this just wanted to make this video so y'all know so y'all don't think that y'all have to go to europe um like i said man i started in the middle east and i worked my way to europe you know what i'm saying so you don't so if if you don't start in Europe, man, you can, and that's one of your, I mean, that's your goal to get to the highest level of basketball, which Europe is. You don't have to start in Europe, man, if you don't have the opportunity right away. You just got to stay focused, man, work and treat every league or whatever league you're in as if it's the best league, man. Go in there, focus, prepare like it's, you know what I mean? Like it's the, like it's the Euro League. You know what I mean? And don't think, oh man, this shit easy. Like if I was in the Middle East talking about, man, this shit easy, I don't got to, you know what I mean? I don't got to work out. I don't got to uh, continue to better myself because I'm just a lot better than these dudes. I probably would have never got to the position that I am right now. You feel me? So if you don't have the opportunity right away, man, just know that you can work your way up to whatever level you want to get to. You feel me? No matter how far at the bottom you started. Like I mentioned before, man, this guy started off making $700 per month. That's now making three hundred k for the season. You feel me? So... If you really stick to it and you really want it and you really grind it out, there's no reason why you can't do the same shit. You feel me? So like the video, man. If you like to share with somebody that need to see this, um, leave a comment for uh, some inspiration for me, some inspiration for anybody watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate y'all, man. And I'm out.